Alalov in his semi-final. Whilst in Amuzad's semi-final, he beat Anraku of Japan three points to one. So Amuzad, the world number one, the reigning world champion in the red. And Tumur Ochir of Mongolia in the blue. It's still very early in 2023 campaign, and so I don't think we're seeing the full preparation for Amuzad as we, he gets ready for the 2023 world if he is to win the Iranian spot. All the Iranian athletes that we see competing today have won the open trials that occurred a couple months ago. Biabani was the winner for Iran, but he's injured, and so Amuzad was nominated to the team, and that's why we see him here as the sole Iranian world medalist competing. The biggest weight class, 65 kilograms, over 10 weight classes here at these Asian Championships in men's freestyle. Been a very, very competitive direct elimination draw. And these are the last two left standing. The intensity of the Iranian coach there. The cool confidence of reminding his athlete of the body position, the technical positioning. Tamura Chair is owning the center of the mat so far and has really been dictating the pace of this match. So it's no surprise we're getting that verbal warning from to Iran. Over the last year, Amuzad no doubt has the better CV of these two, but Tamur Ochir is a world championship bronze medalist from Oslo in 2021. He's also been to the Olympic Games, but Amuzad is the man of the moment. Despite being on the activity clock, he still doesn't score that. So first point to Tamur Ochia. And what we see with the Iranian wrestlers is as the match gets deeper and deeper and gets tougher and tougher, that's where they really begin to shine. We saw that in the finals against Yanni Diamakolas from the US last year. We maybe we'll see that again today. What are you seeing, Erica, from the Mongolian that is so good so far? I think he's really bringing this match to Amazad. He's dictating the hand fighting. He's really putting the positions that he wants to, and he's not giving Amazad any opportunity to create his offense. seen too much of Amuzad getting his heavy hands on Tumur Chir. Over the first three minutes, it has been a, a very good defensive performance as well from Tumur Chir, and that defense has been through his attack. Yes, and, and you know, from that hand fight, from being that body position, it creates a lot of lactic acid and fatigue in the arms. And so that's why we see the coaches shaking out the arms of their athletes, massaging them so that you can kind of get rid of a little bit of lactic acid in this 30 second break while you're giving the technical advice, which we see here today. We have seen Amuzad pushed so far today already. He beat Mukta of Kazakhstan 6 nothing, and then against Dan Raku, as we mentioned, in the semi-final. Slender three points to one advantage. We're seeing a bit of a different gear here from Amazad as he opens up the second round. Amazad himself is the underhook master. So can he use the center hook? Typically we see him taking the, his attack. Great reaction. 
They have an out of bounds too. All of a sudden, that's the Amazad we're used to seeing. He's definitely opened up the second round with a new sense of urgency. Good shot of that underhook of Amuzad. Legs are so far away from danger from Tamura Chia. This is where we've seen the differences in these wrestlers between these two rounds. The second round here, Amazad has come out with an urgency, with a pressure, and that's why we see Tamura Chia on the activity clock. Pointed out earlier, Erica, how Iranians tend to get better and better as the fights goes on, and we're seeing that dynamic here from Amuzat. And that's it. They train so hard. They have impeccable fitness, and we really see that deep into these matches. You had another rule as well, and which is never rule out a Mongolian. So we're going to see both those two things come into play here. Amuzad trying to seal this off, but Tamur Ochia trying to unpick the Iranian lock. And two points dictate the difference in this match right now, and I want to see Amuzad continue to, to build his momentum, to build his lead and keep that pressure and put away Tamur Ochia if he wants to really showcase his skills right now. The Mongolian coach there knows he needs to really find a new gear here in this final if he wants to be the gold medalist. It was in Mongolia last year that Amuzad beat the number one seed, India's Bajrang, to get that Asian championship title. Can he defend it a year on in Astana against Tamurochi? Such good body positioning, such good reaction. Just for a moment, you felt Tamurachir might have a chance there, and Amuzad bounces back well. Coming on strong in these final exchanges, being tested, Amuzad. That status as reigning champion on the line, but he'll hold on for gold for a repeat for Amuzad. And he's been tested across all three bouts tonight that he's faced. But the champion competitor in him has seen him hit it out the park. A contest that just drew you in further and further and further. Amuzad by a slender scoreline again. Three points to one, but he's the champion at 65 kilos. First goals of men's wrestling, or men's freestyle wrestling uh, for Iran. I think his coach is saying, you can do this. You can hold this uh, and go around the arena. We saw so much of this in Greco-Roman wrestling. Iran, the dominant force in Greco-Roman at these Asian Championships and in freestyle, they have their first goals. Raman Amuzad, it's author. <laughs> 